Week 11, Problem 10. Narrow beam of ultrasonic waves reflect off the liver tumor illustrated in the figure below. The speed of the wave is 12% less in the liver than in the surrounding medium. Okay? Determine the depth of the tumor. Okay? So this guy here, this is Snell's Law. So start up, pretty much as like always, and write it up. So let's see. Sine of theta 1 over V1 equals sine theta 2 over velocity 2. Okay? So we should probably at this point actually start defining things. Like draw a picture and like, you know, what theta 1 is and velocity 1. So let's see here. I'm going to just draw this in half right there. So we have the air and the tumor. So let's see. The speed of the wave is 12% less in the liver than the surrounding medium. I'm going to say the surrounding medium is, it doesn't matter. I'm going to say it's air, but it doesn't really matter. So we have, nope, I'm going to make it straight in that. There we go, straight up and down. Um, so we have wave coming in, hit. This will be the angle of incidence. So this will be 50 degrees. And then we have the wave coming off, which will be theta 2. This guy will be theta 1. Up here will be velocity 1. Down here will be velocity 2. There we go. All right. So now let's say what we know. That sounds ambigu ambiguous. All right. So velocity 1 times 0 0.88. It's 100% minus 12%, which is 88%, is V2. Because we know that V2 is slower than V1. Yep, 12% less. All right. So a little bit less from V1 will give you V2. Got it. OK. So now we should be able to rearrange this guy right here. Let's go for blue. I like blue. Everyone likes blue. All right. So what we don't know is theta 2. So I'm going to say that sine of theta 2 equals v2 over v1 which equals nope you need a multiplier there just change that into a big circle sine of theta here we go we know that v2 is v1 0 0.88 point over v1 sine theta 1 that works the v1s cancel and then we have Actually, I'll change this over to an arrow. Theta 2 equals arc sine, which is like that sine inverse thing. I just like to write sine, arc sine instead. That way, when you do it this way, you, instead of writing this, I write arc sine. Because sometimes when you see that, you think, oh, that's just 1 over sine. No. So I just avoid that whole confusion. All right. Oh, now I got lost. No, I'm not lost. All right, sine of theta 1. So theta 2, this guy, is that. Hmm. Oh, I totally did get lost. All right, so I need a 0.88 in there. 0.88. Multiply it right in there. So arc sine of 0.88 times sine of theta 1. That seems reasonable. All right, we'll frame time. So do arc sine of 0 0.88 times sine of 50 degrees. Like if I just put 50, and I'm pretty sure Wolfram would figure it out. Wolfram's good like that. But better not take chances. 42.4. 42.4. All right. Quickly remember that. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. 42.4. 42.4. Degrees. Don't forget the units. Yep. Bam. Okay. So now we know theta 2, which is mostly the, what we need done. All right. So now we got a triangle. Let's see, 42.4. Yeah, I'm good with that. So let's see here. Just to do a common sense thing, it slowed down. So when we had the, so let's say we have a tumor right here. We have a sound wave traveling like this. And then when it hits here, it's going to slow down. So this part will go slower longer than this part because it hits sooner. 
Yep, and it should turn down, which makes it a smaller theta. So yes, we should get a smaller angle. Smaller angle is correct. All right, so now let's go to our triangle. Click, ooh, red. Now nah, that's a little too aggressive for me. We'll do a, we'll do purple. Nice tranquil purple. All right, so we've got a theta. Nope, I'm gonna do a different triangle. It's the same triangle, I just flipped it upside down. No, maybe I should go with this first one. So indecisive, so indecisive. All right, so this guy is a 42.4. And we know right here, this is six centimeters. I'm just gonna write a six. So the reason it's six is because we know it's 12 centimeters across both sides. So what we're looking for is half that, which is six. So do our Sokotoa. There we go. And we have an adjacent, no, we have an opposite and we want an adjacent. So right there. So we have a tangent of 42.4 equals opposite, which is six centimeters over adjacent. All right, so carry this forward a little bit life. And we have adjacent, which is our depth, which equals six centimeters divided by tangent of 42.4. All right, so let's see here. Hmm, what is six divided by quantity, tangent, quantity, 42.4. You know, I can just do deg. Let's see if Wolfram figures that out. I always like to challenge Wolfram. Push the limits. Ooh, it did figure it out. Okay. Result, 6.57. Okay. So we have 6.57 centimeters. All right, so let's make sure this makes sense that it's bigger. So if we have a triangle like this, where this angle is... So we have it 45 degrees, then each side would be the same. But if we had like something that's less than 45, like 10, then the opposite would be, so this would be the small one Then if it's less than 45, and this would be the big one. And that is bigger, 6.5 is bigger than six. So yes, I'm gonna say that that is a reasonable answer. So here, I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna say right here, 6.57 centimeters. All right, and that is how you do problem 10. On to problem 11.